been my mentor and guide for as long as I can recall. He saw potential in me when I was just a motherless boy. For that, I will always be grateful to him. Not bad, Kian. You did well out there today. Thank you, Master, but your praise shames me. The light of the goddess blinds my opponents and guides my sword to victory. Your skill with the sword is unmatched, Kian, and so is your faith, but the one does not equate with the other. What do you mean, Master? Your devotion to your faith and your prowess with a blade should never be confused. Religion and war makes as well as dry grass and a flaming torch. How can that be? I hold my sword in the name of my faith, and my faith is the shield that protects me from harm. They are like two rings intertwined. Or like a pair of snakes eating each other's tails. Don't be blinded by rhetoric, Kian. I've taught you better than that. But the mission, Garmon. Politics! When did you become a woman? Your dedication to the mission is a waste of your potential and your time. With great talent comes great responsibility. You could be a powerful man, Kian. Instead, you've chosen life as a puppet. A puppet! Well, you've never approved of my calling. But I have pledged my life to the goddess, and I have vowed to protect her word. The word of the goddess does not require your protection, and you have pledged your life to the six, not the goddess. Don't confuse the two. On this we will never see eye to eye, master. I am an apostle of the faith, and I have... A thousand pardons, apostle. Excuse me, master. Yes, child Anna. The six require your presence, apostle. When? My apologies, apostle. They said to bring you immediately. Thank you. Master, forgive me. Of course, Kian. You're excused. We will continue practice without you. Amanon! Nozan! Into the ring! And try not to swing your swords like shy little schoolgirls this time around! Please, Apostle, we must hurry. You look like two lovers out for a stroll in the moonlight! Follow me, Apostle. Fight! Don't dance! So it's a fair bet that we are in the Azadi Empire. This must be Sadir. Please, Apostle, we must hurry. Which would be the capital city. Follow me, Apostle. Also known as the City of the Six Rivers. Child Enna wants me to follow her to the council room to see the six. They are waiting, Apostle. These soldiers are charged with the protection of the six and of the council. It is a great honor to be considered for such a duty. Please enter, Apostle. When the day comes I believe I have trained with both of these guards myself. So if you haven't guessed already, uh, the Azadi Empire is a matriarchal society, and so the six are the six empresses. The six await. Our apologies for calling you away while you were training. We know that you are busy with the initiates, but this could not wait. We have just had word from our armies in the east, and it worries us deeply. Our dearest apostle, we have a very important task for you. Yes, mistress. Apostle, you know how some Eastlanders still resist our noble efforts at uniting their fractured nations and bringing the word to their goddessless lives. The mission continues unabated, of course. Nothing shall stand between the glory of the goddess and those lost ones who have strayed from her light. But still there are a few who have chosen to oppose us. Those misguided pagans have become a dangerous obstacle in the path. Apostle Kian, we need you to travel east to those heathen lands to bring the word to the heretics. There is a man who leads these rebellious few, these insurgents. A man whose hands are soiled with the blood of many trueborn. A Deoman. You must travel tonight to the Havens, Apostle, and board a cloud ship bound for the city of Mercuria. When you reach your destination, you will seek out this man, this... this butcher. They call him the Scorpion. You must seek him out, and you must convert him. By the letting of his blood, 
he shall be reborn into the next life, where he may find forgiveness in the glory of the goddess. Find this rebel leader, this scorpion, and let your blade kiss his throat. This is your mission, Kian Albane. As you please, mistress. Your word is my path. You will leave now with haste. May the goddess be with you, apostle. And mind the scorpion does not sting you before you sting him. I shall be vigilant, mistress. Blessed be the goddess. Blessed be the path. Blessed be the word. Blessed be the mission. Can we trust him? If not him, then who? He is our most faithful apostle. He knows not to question our word. He will complete his mission. The prophet was adamant. There is much resting on this task. It is the last obstacle, the prophet said. When it is done, the light of the goddess will wash across the world like a tidal wave, drowning all those who lack faith. May that day come swiftly, and may the goddess aid the apostle in his mission. The future of our empire rests on his shoulders now. Assassinate somebody. I am being sent to the Havens tonight, Master. A cloud ship will take me east across the ocean. I must leave with haste. With haste? I see. Another heathen who needs converting. There's great darkness in this world. Is it not our duty to illuminate the darkness with the light of the goddess? We cannot make the sun rise in the dead of night, Kian. Like everyone else, we must wait for dawn. Must we have this discussion again, Master? It seems to me you question everything I believe in. Not so, Kian. You know I'm a man of faith. What I am questioning is our right to impose our faith on others. I've been to these eastern lands and they... And is it not a place full of darkness and sin? Would it not be better off under the guiding light of our faith and the mercy of the goddess? What would you have me answer? There is indeed arrogance, oppression, murder, and fear in those lands. But there's also beauty, freedom, and humility. And the brightest day has the darkest shadows, Kian. Remember that. I must depart now, Master. The cloud ship leaves the havens at first light, and my duty beckons. Duty or no duty, do only what you yourself believe to be right, and not what others tell you is right. I'll see you when you get back. You can tell me all about the Eastlanders and how you rescued their maidens from a life of sin. May you walk with the goddess, Kian. And the light of the goddess upon you, Master Garmon. 